Hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another episode of, uh, well actually, the first ever episode of uh, Bitcoin for Beginners or Bitcoin 101 or Bitcoin Class. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, what we usually do for every uh, live stream. You know, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little timer on, put a little music on, and um, yeah, just wait for everybody to shuffle in and we're going to get this started soon as possible guys so yeah see you in a few minutes i'll be right here guys i'm starting to answer questions and uh, we're gonna go about um the regular schedule type of thing for live streams if you know what i'm saying and if you don't welcome so as soon as this timer's up we'll get the show started all right i promise this is this all right see so far stream's doing good Stream is doing awesome. As you guys remember, we were having a little difficulty last week. And that's it, we're back. <clears throat> Let me get the chat ready. Let me get everything ready while everybody's shuffling in, getting to their seats. That whole deal. So today. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin wallets, you know, Bitcoin for beginners. You know, what is a Bitcoin wallet? What is a public key? What is a private key? What's the difference of all that? We're going to download a wallet, okay? And we're going to install it together. We're going to go through the whole thing together. So stay tuned if you want to know more. If you want to learn more about this. Or if you know somebody out there that could use this kind of information. Because if you're already like an old crypto um, dog like me... You know, you're just uh, basically looking for easiest, easier ways to explain this to, to your friends and family and everybody else out there. And that's what I'm trying to do out here. That's it. I just realized. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm here. Me and Lambo are here. We're live. All right. We're about to pull up the chat. I know the chat's on the on the down here. I know, I, I know the chat's there, but I got to pull it up on here. You know, I got to pull up on my tablet over here. All right. Welcome, Opie. Welcome, New York native. How's it going, brothers? Lambo's always plastered. Boom, boom. What's up, Callie? Yeah, yeah, this, this guy takes every drug in the book. This guy, Lambo, Lambo's, you know, he loves Mexico, bro. He's out here partying all the time. He don't, he don't care. Oh, by the way, let me do a little bit of a plug-in time while we're waiting for... I should start doing that. I should do plug-ins and uh, just start talking about, like, um, you know, advertising for myself in the channel. So, guys, in case you are not aware, I have my own podcast already. So, please, check out the podcast, all right? Now, the podcast is basically, you know, all these live streams or any kind of show that you guys would like audio version of i'm starting to put online um and you're going to ask me the next question is like oh where can i find you online well basically anywhere you can download your favorite podcast just look for jose adiaga that's it i'm already on spotify and apple itunes and and on a few others out there i'm not quite sure of all of them but i know i'm on spotify and definitely on apple apple itunes and uh and and and, and, and forward i mean i'm moving forward now this video or this audio might not be on the podcast only simply because you know i'm showing you stuff here i am probably going to put this on bit shoot and other stuff like that but um yeah so um you know just to go forward with that but yeah oh you want the Mega Man music well we got a minute left i'm jamming to this right now bro we gotta get we gotta give that Mega Man a little time to breathe too man a Mega Man tomorrow tomorrow is Mega Man. remember today we're doing bitcoin for beginners all right so, but tomorrow we got Mega Man on deck, all right? No worries. Welcome, Dale. Welcome, Silent Lamb. Welcome, Opie. Welcome, Cali. Welcome, New York Native. Welcome to Lambo. Welcome to me. Welcome to everybody else out there that's watching and just hanging out. But yeah, I downloaded this song from YouTube so I can use it, all right? I know, I know. We've heard this song like a million times, right? But it's like a nice little beat, you know? Not quite sure where it really comes from or anything, but 
I freaking, I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Definitely probably use it for videos or what have you. But that's it, we got a few more seconds left. Before we get this started. Eh, one second, let me get the water. All right, all right, that's it. Time's up, time's up. Wah, 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 wah. So, all right, guys. So, let's get started. Let's uh, let's get this party started as soon as I drink this water and finish uh, being late, as always. That's right, guys. Thank you so much uh, for joining me today. Thank you for smashing those likes. Thank you for waiting patiently for over a week because, as you guys already know, this was supposed to be, you know, we were supposed to have this a week ago, and um, you know, we had some, uh, we had some troubles, we had some internet troubles and all that good stuff. But you know, now we're here. Um, I don't know about, you know, Lambo's queer, but I'm not. But it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, right, Lambo? Nothing wrong with that. But anyways, all right, guys, so let's get started. Let's get the class started, all right? <clears throat> Basically, this is going to be the first episode of many to come. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing these every week. I don't know when I'm going to be um, putting them up, whether it's going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, what have you, but you're definitely going to see them once a week. I'm still going to have my Wednesday crypto live stream because that live stream just fits so many, you know, I, I talk about so many things on there, so I just, I'm definitely going to keep that as is. But we're going to be doing another live stream, um, you know, doing this Bitcoin for Beginners stuff, and I'm going to put it in another folder, so that way uh, people have easy access to, to all this information. Because there are a lot of videos out there, and tutorials, and all kinds of stuff, you know, that literally teach this, exactly what I'm going to teach you. But I feel like a lot of them are out of date. You know, we're about to enter like another crypto bull run. What does that mean? There's a lot of people that are going to be more interested in Bitcoin and crypto as each day comes. And people need, you know, brand new, uh, you know, uh, tutorials on how to, you know, on what all this stuff is and how to use it. And um, as we all learn in the community together, you know, we also um, can put this stuff in layman terms so we can make it way easier to understand. I mean, basically, as you guys can see there on the picture, I mean... As you guys can see in the picture on the screen there, you know, we have the, like a wallet, you know, it looks like a very traditional wallet and you would see, you see those credit cards there, okay? And uh, you see those Bitcoin that are there, but you know, th that could be cash. And then you look at your phone, you see the picture of that phone there and it has a, the, a picture of a wallet with fiat, with uh, paper money in it. And then you got this thing. So, you know, again, you know, a lot of people are just trying to, we're trying to figure this out. As to what this is, you know, there's a lot of people like when you first come into the space, you're just trying to really figure this out. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and again, and I'm sorry if I go a little slow, um, but for people out there that don't know about any of this stuff, I, I, I feel like I'm going at just the right speed. But if I'm going too slow for you, well, again, you know, this is probably not for you per se, because you already know what a wallet is. You already know um, how to set one up. You already know how to do all of these things. So that's why I would encourage you to help me and help your friends and family by spreading this video, you know, whether now while it's going live or later on once it's uh, uploaded fully. But anyways, we're going to start again talking about what these things are. I don't have a script. I don't have anything like that. I'm just going off the top of my head with the knowledge that I have. And if there's anyone out there in the audience that is also, um, you know, uh, very crypto savvy or knowledgeable like me or more, Please feel free to join the chat and uh, and help people answer questions and, uh, and all that stuff. Okay, um, I'm just here to again explain it uh, in layman terms, which I've been I've been doing more and more of and more of every day, and that's why I decided to do this or these kind of videos because again I see that there's a huge need for for this stuff, and um, it can be very intimidating because again you know we're not going to start talking about. And this is not what this show's about in the sense of like we're not going to start talking about why you need Bitcoin. Tomorrow's live stream, which is my Wednesday live stream, that's when we talk about more of uh, the subject of why we need Bitcoin, all right? Why we need things like gold and silver and all that stuff. In, in this uh, episode, in this video, in, in this uh, brand new format of uh, 
weekly videos that I'm doing, you know, again, Bitcoin 101, Bitcoin for beginners. We're not talking about why we need it. You should already know why you need it. And if you don't know, again, tune in tomorrow or tune in on, on Wednesdays or again, go look, go look at the backlog or look at my rest of my channel. But again, what we're going to be talking about today is how to use this stuff. You know what I mean? Meaning here, I put the wrong thing up, but how do you, here's uh this is not my Trezor or my ledger. This is just a, you know, just, um, an example of what I'm putting on screen here, something that like what's already on screen as well as to where your Bitcoin could be. But, you know, again, we're trying to dispel the myth as to what this stuff is, what it is and what it is. Again, we have a silver coin with me and also some fiat currency, which is paper money. All right. So like, we got paper money. We got physical gold. And now we got the Bitcoin stuff. All right. We got this Bitcoin that's on this leg. Basically, Bitcoin really, I mean, even though I'm showing you uh, a wallet here, you know what I mean, or not even a wallet, but like um, a USB drive, you know, basically the cool thing about Bitcoin is that you don't even need this. You don't need anything. All you need is a passcode, a password of multiple words. And by the way, look, I'm going to show you on screen what a password could look like, all right? And this is not a password, but basically what this is is uh, just my um, my laundry list. Not my laundry list. I'm sorry. My my shopping list. Here, let me show you real quick. So this could be... Hold on. Sorry. So this could be, you know, like basically what a code looks like. And again, as we go about on the episode, I'm going to be showing you a lot more... Okay, how this is and when all this, what this stuff is, you know, basically, as, as you see there, it's just a bunch of random words like olive oil, chips, aluminum foil, yellow paper, apples, wall, T-shirt. Th that's what a password would be. And it's uh, basically 12 to 15 to 18 words, depending on how you want to, you know, secure your thing. And um, and that, you know, long list of words that is pretty much like a list like this. That is your password. So basically, you don't need to keep your Bitcoin on a physical drive. You don't need to keep it on your computer. You don't need to keep it on your phone. You don't need to keep it anywhere except for in your head. Okay? Basically, if why, why you need to write this down is because until you memorize it. Once you memorize it, then you don't need this. But again, make sure you memorize it because otherwise, they're lost forever. So that's the whole thing about um, being your own bank. But a lot of people are like, well, you know, I keep my money in the bank because they, they can't ever lose my money. Well, you know, that was the idea. But the reality is, is that, you know, if you don't, haven't dealt with this yet, a lot of people have already dealt with the fact that your money isn't secure in the bank. You know, you might think that you have $100,000 in the bank, but try to access that money for real or try to move it or try anything. In fact, like again, in the other app, in the other live stream, we talk about this on a regular basis to the point of, uh, you know, there's tons of people out there. They've had safety deposit boxes and they've uh, when they go open it, it's not there anymore. The bank just took it and they can't do anything about it and so on and so forth. So, you know, and, and so many people that have been frozen out of their accounts. Um, and this goes back as far as whatever. I mean, again, I was talking to my girlfriend the other day. We were watching trading places, and again, this happened in like very early 80s, but, you know, if you remember that movie at the very beginning, the guy, you know, did, did a crime, and even though this guy had millions and millions of dollars, they locked him out of his accounts. They locked him out of his money. They, So you think they can't do that today? Of course they can. That's why it's something like Bitcoin is so important in order to... You know, uh, fast, you know, not allow something like that to happen. But again, sorry, I'll go off of my tangents. That's not what this is about. Let's start talking about wallets, right? Let's just start getting into it and start getting into the nitty gritty, all right? So basically, all right, here we go. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to move this over. All right, there we go. Okay, so I found this article, and um, you know what, man? I should have, uh, let me see if I can. Uh, so this article right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it so that you guys can also read it, okay? So how do I, um, yeah, sorry, man. I know I should have, I messed it up guys. I messed it up. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to put the link in the, in the chat. Okay. And I'm also going to put the link in the thing later. All right. I'm also going to put a, the link to the wallet that we're going to be using today. But anyways, this is the link, the direct link to the article that I'm reading right now. All right. And we're not going to be reading through this whole article. So basically, what we're going to be doing is that, okay, um, Bitcoin wallets for beginners. Okay, again, you can read this on your own. But basically, 
here it breaks down the types of wallets that there are what a paper wallet is okay um, actual what a mobile wallet is okay a web wallet not recommended by the way and a desktop wallet which is what we're gonna be using and last but not least the hardware wallet which is again my opinion probably the safest outside of uh, you know keeping your code in your brain okay this is the safest option okay again something like it looks like a USB drive again I'm just showing you this you know just so you can get an idea of what what one would look like but you know we're gonna go through that later this is for advanced okay we'll do this in another episode um, talking about hardware wallets okay but right now we're just talking about wallets in general just wallets in general okay so basically the thing is that as you start going on your little adventure of figuring out what crypto is um, you start going into um, you know you just start going down the rabbit hole but when you come across like a like an like a website like this that is explaining to you all of the wallets and and all this information you know it is very 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 hard to understand very hard to digest very hard to comprehend and especially if you have absolutely negative to zero um, tech knowledge because I feel like I'm very tech savvy but even for me it was a while before I kind of got this and all that stuff so and um, you know I've already been doing this for many years so I already kind of got it and I've um, you know I've already you know I'm I'm not you know I'm, I'm already well versed on how to use this and all this stuff but basically again um, you know to the average user to the beginner user look at all of these options I'm just scrolling through here so you guys can get an idea so again it's like oh I just want a mobile wallet but you then you're like well which is the good mobile wallet which is the best one and then you see like features cold storage withdraw from any cryptocurrency and then this one zero knowledge sing, so like, again what the fuck does this any not any of this mean to the average guy secure an easy crypto wallet you know an exchange mo okay so this one might be okay maybe I'll pick this one but I've never heard of fucking Lumi wallet you know what I mean um, so that's what I'm trying to get you know what I mean the, the point I'm trying to make here is that you know why I'm making this episode is so that to get you guys started this is like for beginners for beginners okay so why that's why we're choosing the Exodus wallet because of all of the wallets out there and we're going with desktop wallet now only but they have a phone wallet and it's basically the same procedure to download and install on your phone as it is on the desktop okay but why are we doing the desktop because you can lose your phone people can um, hack your phone a lot easier than they can uh, your uh, you know your your computer now again your computer is also easily hackable that's why you never I don't keep my coins on my computer I keep my coins on a hardware wallet all right and I keep it up my ass all right basically so nobody can you know nobody can take it um, but the point is that again even having the physical representation of it is just like having a physical representation of your money whether it's paper or silver someone can still steal this and even if they can steal this and they can't you know for example you know there's it, it's still out there as to you know whether if they steal this or not they can take your coins but the point is is that that's not the point you know what I mean the point is that you know right now we have a technology in which you know all you got to do is write a code like here and it's in your brain and that's it no one can ever take it from you you can travel across many many countries many borders do all and no one ever can you know again you cross the US border with one of these or any one of these and they can probably be taken away from you you know I'm talking about silver or cash or other assets but they can't take your Bitcoin away they can take your phone away and if you have your Bitcoin on your phone your wallet on your phone there goes your coins unless you know you have this and you're able to get your coins out of your wallet on your computer before they do and so that that's a thing you know what I mean so like anyways it's again I don't want to overcomplicate this all right but basically this is how it works okay um and for a beginner my in my humble opinion I think that it would be best to start off with a wallet on your desktop okay why because again it's just a lot um, easier to, to handle and see and get an idea as to how this works also it's a little bit more secure than on your mobile now there's plenty of you guys out there that feel plenty comfortable with more comfortable with your phone in that case also download this for your phone so or do both 
And in my recommendation for this episode, I would highly recommend for you to do both. And this is why I have Exodus on the screen. Exodus is the wallet for today's uh, video. And what we're going to be, what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to put a link, okay, for the wallet here, okay? So you guys can get in, uh, go check that out, okay? All right, so please, that goes, so you can get, the, so you can do, if, if you can also do this with me as I'm doing this, all right? So we can do it together. But basically, you know, you go to that website, exodus.io, um, and um, for all any listeners out there, exodus.io, exodus.io. You can download their mobile wallet for the phone, or you can download the desktop wallet for your computer. I recommend you do both, and I'm going to tell you why, all right, in a few in a few minutes, all right? But basically, we're, gonna, we're just going to go through other wallets, okay? For a minute, just for a quick second, so you can get an understanding. The first kind of wallet is a paper wallet. Basically, what a paper wallet is is you keep your co you keep uh, your account your where your coins are. By the way, let me let me give you guys a little bit more uh, blockchain explorer. Okay, just so you guys can get an idea. So basically what happens is, is that, you know, the, what a paper wallet is, is that you would have your public address on here. What is your public address? Your pu We're going to go through all this in a second, but it would be just a, a bunch of numbers like this, okay? That's my address, by the way, all right? But it will be a bunch of numbers like that, all right? And that's your address, and then you would have this on a piece of paper like this, and then, you know, people can, uh, you know, put money on here. Or you can have money on here as well and use it. But again, this is not very safe. You can lose this. Someone can take it. Um, it could get burned. Get many things, all right? So paper wallets aren't really the thing, all right? I, I don't recommend paper wallets, all right? And, and, and the way in order to obtain a paper wallet, people can hack your wallet before you even make it. Again, I don't want to get into all that. That's for advance. We can talk about that on another time, another episode, if you guys are even... Uh, if you guys are interested in that. But basically, I am not a fan. Because basically, in order to have an awesome paper wallet, you will need to do the whole thing offline. And have to do it with a new computer or a new printer and a new everything that has never even touched the internet. Just, you know, again, paranoia central so that no one, so that now you know that you've printed a paper wallet, you have your money on a paper wallet, and there's no way in hell that it was ever or could ever be compromised. But again, too advanced. We're not going to go down that. All right, so that's a paper wallet, okay? That's a way that we back in the day used to kind of, you know, do Bitcoin or try to explain Bitcoin to people that didn't understand it. But that was not, you know, that only confused people more as I'm sure you guys are now. But then, you know, as the years went on, we started all of a sudden um, coming out with mobile wallets. And yeah, the mobile wa and, and desktop wallets. And yes, at first, these wallets... You know, we're not, um, you know, we're not that good, but now they're great. So, you know, out of the wallets on the phone, I prefer Edge Wallet. I don't know any other wallet for the phone. So Edge or Exodus. Edge or Exodus, okay? I would go with Exodus. It's, again, the most user-friendly, the easiest, most, most forgiving, all right? So you can explore those on your own. And then uh, we have, we're going to go, we're going to skip this and we're going to go back up, okay? And then we have desktop wallets, all right? So they have all kinds of desktop wallets. Let me give you, let's go to Electrum just for a minute, okay? El and by the way, we're using Exodus, okay? But let me just show you Electrum, okay? Basically, when you download Electrum, when, when you see Electrum, look, look at this. As soon as you like download Electrum, you're like, huh? Look at this. Look at what you get. Okay, so right off the bat, you're probably confused. If you can figure out which is the right one, again, you're going to be getting like a little, um, I'm trying to see if I don't have any one of these wallets anymore. But the wallet, is, yeah, you know what? I can show you this. The wallet will look something like this. All right? This is not a wallet, okay? This is just some other program I use for something else. But the wallet will look like this. And then here will be like the address and how you're going to send it and uh, the amount and, and meaning like how, how many fees and the, the blockchain this and the blockchain that. And it's like so confusing. Again, in the future, we'll, we'll, we'll go into that, but not today. All right. Today, we're just using the easiest wallet. And again, guys, I use Exodus wallet as well. OK, now, the only downside to Exodus, there's only one downside, in my opinion, right now. And, the, the, and that would be um, the fact 
that Exodus wallet is the most expensive wallet to, to send stuff on. So what do I mean? If you're going to be sending um, $100, you know, through, um, through you know, another whatever wallet, you know, you can um, play with it to the point where it's like, hey, I want to pay the fees I want to pay. So you can send like $100, $200 and pay like $0.05, cents, $0.10 cents because you... You're like, hey, I'm not in a hurry to send this money, um, blah, 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 and you gauge how fast it gets there. But since Exodus, which is this this right here, we're going to download and go through that right now. But since Exodus is more user-friendly, Exodus sends the money right away, and they get it right away. But in order for that to happen, they have to charge the most amount of fees. And again, it's like the Apple version of a crypto wallet, meaning that you don't do much. It just it does it all for you behind the scenes. So this is why this is the this is the, the the wallet, not just for your desktop, but for your phone that everyone should have, basically just for that reason, just for the reason that it's like the most user-friendly, easiest to use. And then as you get, you know, better acquainted with them, this whole world, then you can all of a sudden now, you know, upgrade to another wallet. You know, again, whether you're going to Electrum, or you're going to pick, you know, um, any other wallet, okay? Now, for a lot of people out there, you guys are, for a lot of beginners out there, you guys have already, you know, probably, most likely, already bought Bitcoin on things like, uh, let me see, Cash App. All right, I just want to show you guys. Okay, so you have either bought things on, on, on something like the Cash App, okay? Or you've uh, you've uh, you've bought stuff, you've bought Bitcoin or other coins on the most trusted. <clears throat> I'm being I'm being uh, uh, sarcastic here, okay? Um, but the most trusted name in in, uh, in crypto here, which is Coinbase, or as as we like to call it in the space, Conbase. But again, we're not we're trying to pick on them right now. But you know, basically, you know, with uh, with uh, the Cash App. Or Coinbase, you can download the Cash App on your phone right now, and you can buy Bitcoin with you know within a few minutes. Within a few minutes, you can already buy. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fix the screen here. Okay, not better. All right. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, I got a little this. Let me that. All right, there we go. Okay, so basically, you can buy Bitcoin with the Cash App. You can buy Bitcoin on Coinbase. You just basically got to like just give them your bank information, you know, go through a little bit of a quick approval process, which I don't like. I don't like, you know what I mean? I'm not a fan of all that stuff, but, you know, this is the world we're living in now. We're still trying to get from point A to point B. And the old system is the banking system and the new system is Bitcoin. But anyways, I digress. So basically, you can buy Bitcoin on the Cash App. You can buy Bitcoin and other coins on Coinbase. You can also download Coinbase and, again, easily purchase and all this stuff but the point is is that when you keep your coins on coinbase or you keep your coins on the cash app you're, they're not really your coins they are the custodian for your coins they are holding the coins for you again either the cash app or coinbase or any other place like these places when you buy it with your credit card when you buy it with your debit card and then they're like Boom, you buy it and boom, they just put it on the thing and say, hey, you have this many Bitcoin. Basically, they're holding your Bitcoin in their wallet. Just like when you go to a bank and you, they're keeping your money in their bank account, their bank. So it's the same thing. They're keeping your crypto in their bank. So when uh, you're using the cash app, you can basically, you know, cash out the Bitcoin like that. So far, I have not had any trouble with a coin, with the cash app, meaning, you know, you can have a couple hundred dollars of Bitcoin on the cash app and you can just boop, 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 move it out and put it on your phone wallet or move it to your desktop wallet. Again, the one, you know, like Exodus, which we're about to, you know, we're going to go into in a second. All right. Um, but that's, you know, that's the option you have. But when you do something like Coinbase, it's more like a traditional bank. When all of a sudden you say, hey, I want to get my coins out of Coinbase and put them on my wallet, my wallet on my computer, my wallet on my phone, my wallet on my USB drive, whatever, then they say, oh, yeah, no problem. It's going to be a week. Give us a week and we'll send you the coins. You feel me? So that's why people like me and people that have been in this space for a very long time, we don't like 
Coinbase. And if we're using things like Coinbase, it's to trade. That's another story for another episode. We'll talk about that in future episodes. Again, please, guys, by all means, anything you guys want me to talk about in future episodes, let me know. And again, we're gonna, I'm going to start making a list and we're going to start covering all this stuff on a weekly basis. All right. Again, we're just doing the, the basics today and then we're going really, really slow um, just to, you know, again, to make sure that all of us, all of you guys know exactly what all this stuff is and what it means. All right. And again, when I say wallet, I also basically mean like a, a wallet, like your wallet right here. Now, you know, your wallet could also be the safe in your house. You feel me? This is just a wallet you put in your pocket. You feel me? So this is like, again, having your wallet on your phone. You know, only keep the amount of money in your wallet on your pocket in your, in your, on, that you have on you that you're willing to lose. That's why we have things like credit cards and debit cards and all this stuff in case something happens. You know, we don't lose it. It's it's in another location. So the safe in your house would be the desktop computer, you know, keeping. But again, even the safe in your house is it, this, you know, people can still go into your house and take your safe and break into your safe. So that's, you know, again, these are just the analogies that I'm helping you make. But if all of a sudden you're able to imagine if you're able to keep your gold or silver holdings, OK, by just remembering a code like what you're seeing on screen right there. And then basically, you know, all your physical stuff doesn't need to be held by Coinbase or a cash app or Wells Fargo or Chase or a safe in your house or your wallet. No, it can. It's all here. So this is why, you know, we're, we're going up through very, you know, through the motions of all this, trying to explain to you what a wallet is and why it's, you know, why we need it. So, again. You can buy coins. I recommend that you buy coins on things like Cash App. It has, to me, I feel like some of the best prices, um, a, a very, very easy um, interface. Again, you download it for your phone. Well, I, I, I have a, an episode on the Cash App on my channel. You can just Cash App, you know, put a search for Cash App on my YouTube channel and you should find it. But I, I, I will most likely do another tutorial in the future on the Cash App as well. No reason not to. But anyways, the point is you download the Cash App and you're buying Bitcoin within a few minutes. And then you once you buy it, then you transfer it to your actual wallet or your safe or, you know, your safe safe. You know, they're safer. It's an, an even stronger safe. All right. Whatever. But anyways. So I digress. So again, I don't recommend Coinbase because I don't want to get into it. I just don't recommend them. Okay. I recommend Cash App for Bitcoin. Okay. And just, just focus on Bitcoin. Don't be focusing on any of this bullshit until you know what the fuck is going on. And, you, and then, then once you still know, and once you know what's going on, then you start doing research. Then you start working on it. You do all of these other things first before you start investing your money in shit that you don't understand because... If you invest in something you don't understand, you deserve to fucking lose your money, all right? So please, again, none of this shit's financial advice. This is just educational for educational purposes only, for, for you to learn how to keep your funds safe, okay? But basically, again, guys, you know what I mean? All this is up to you, and you should be always 100,000% responsible. The reason most people are not into the crypto space is because they don't want to take that responsibility, and they want to keep giving that responsibility away to the banks, to a corporation, to an entity. So that's why, again, when they lose their money in that system, I don't feel bad for them either because, again, you know, like Benjamin Franklin once said, the more free you want to be, the more it's going to cost you, all right? I know that wasn't the exact quote, but you know exactly what I'm saying, all right? Freedom is not cheap, all right? So, all right, let's now get into the wallet, all right? Now, we're about to start doing the whole wallet download and the whole wallet, um, all right? So that's what we're going to do. So now, basically, now we understand what wallets are um, and we have a little bit more understanding of the whole wallet situation. Now, what we're going to do is that we're just going to go through the process of downloading a wallet and not just downloading a wallet, but the process of also setting up a wallet. And the same process would go on your phone wallet. Again, you're not going to have this on the cash app or anything like that. They don't have a wallet. They just hold your coins. And then if you want them, you got to have a wallet set up. Again, you got to have a wallet so you can put your money in. All right. Like an actual wallet. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to start going into um, setting up a crypto wallet. All right. So step number one, go to exodus.io. All right. And by the way, this is not a paid 
anything by Exodus. Again, I just feel that, and I got a lot of us in the in the industry and a lot of us in the, in the crypto world feel that this is the best and safest and easy, most easy to use. Okay, most user friendly. Okay, so you go to Exodus.com, Exodus.io. All right. Let me see. Can you? Well, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. That way, so you can see the screen. So you go to Exodus.io and then you basically just click on download. You see, and then you're gonna have options. You know, desktop, mobile. So we're gonna go. Obviously, we're dex desktop, okay. And by the way, once you get a hardware wallet, again, okay. Even you can even do it with them, all right. But that's not again. Well, future episode. So we go to download, and then again, you have options, okay, for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, all right. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna do Windows because I got Windows, all right. Download for Windows, all right. Yes, save, easy peasy, all right, okay, so now we have downloaded Exodus, now the next step, okay, there it is, double click on it, and we're going to start setting this up, okay, so you guys can get an idea, as to how all this works, right? So right now you see it says installing Exodus. So the whole thing is installing, all right? And there it is, okay? Boom, you see it's right there on the desktop, on the right here. So now we're gonna double click on Exodus. And there you go, okay? So you're going to get, okay, so this is what, what you're going to see right off the bat. All right, let me see if I can make this a little bigger to make it easier. Okay. I think, is that it? Okay, there we go. Yeah, sorry, guys. I haven't uh, set this up in a while. I'm just trying to make it so that you guys can see it there. Okay, you guys can see. Okay. There we go. All right. So there you go. So as soon as you get your, your you open up the wallet for the first time, you're going to say you're going to see this. OK, welcome to Exodus. All right. And uh, you're already going to have your wallet set up. I mean, this is how easy this is. I mean, this is very, 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 very easy. OK, so then this is what this is how it looks like. OK, we have the home and then we have you know, let's see what it says here when you go send assets to wallet. OK, so there you go there. Now, all of a sudden, it's going to tell you, you know, it's going to take you straight to the Bitcoin part of your wallet. OK, so how this works now is that once you purchase Bitcoin, you know, on the cash app at um, at a Bitcoin ATM and Coinbase, anywhere, any one of these places in which you purchase your Bitcoin, by the way, a little caveat before we get too deep into this. I'm going to be throwing this wallet away, so don't be sending anything to this wallet. This wallet is, um, you know, once we're done with this tutorial, I'm erasing this wallet and I'm going to be getting rid of this wallet because obviously, you know, I'm sharing, I'm going to be sharing the private keys. I'm going to be sharing a lot of information about this. So, and I wouldn't recommend for anyone to use this wallet either because, you know, everyone, anyone can just hack it. And, you know, again, you're just giving, we're giving the keys away. This is just for educational tutorial purposes only. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to get that out there. So again, once you download Exodus either for your computer, like you see, wait, hold on, like you see right there, or on your phone, okay? Once you do either or, then you know you're gonna see something like this. You know, when you go to wallets, you're gonna have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Chainlink, Dash, you know, all the coins. Every coin is here. But we're just gonna focus on Bitcoin because that's it. That's Bitcoin. That's it. All the other stuff is for advanced users only, okay? So how do I put coins into this wallet? Very easy, guys. Right here where it says receive, okay? So once you put receive, okay, so that's it right here, okay? You see where it says send and receive. So you basically click on receive, and you have your Bitcoin address right there. Or you can just copy, okay, copy, all right, and then just... literally you know paste to here so this is the you know like that boom 
Now, I'm going to be adding a few extra, you know, I don't want to, but anyways, then that's it. And that would be your address. That's your public address. All right. And then you would send coins there and that's your address. You know what I mean? That's your, like you're sending coins to your actual wallet, to your phone. Now, an easier way, all right, an easier way to do this as well is the QR code. So let me just give you a scenario. You are at your local uh, convenience store and you are purchasing Bitcoin. So basically, you would have a wallet, same, same exact thing, but on your phone. In fact, I will show you my wallet on, on my phone, okay? As we're going to do this together. But basically, you go on, you know, uh, you go to the ATM and then you want, you say, hey, I'm going to purchase some Bitcoin, okay? All right, I'm going to show you, okay? So this is another wallet, okay? This is another wallet. So you see here, you see the QR code? So basically, when you go to the ATM, you put your money in the ATM, and then, you know, once uh, once you put money into the ATM, it's your choice. You know, they, they ask you, it's like, okay, wh where do you want the Bitcoin? Do you want the Bitcoin on a piece of paper? You know, so they give you a special code, and, you know, and then you get that piece of paper, you bring it home, and you put that money into your wallet on your desktop, or what I like to do, or I, what I recommend others to do, is that, again, have a mobile wallet. Again, same Exodus wallet. Have your mobile wallet. And then, basically, you go to the ATM. You put $20 in or $50 in or whatever money you want to put in. And then they say, all right, do you have your wallet ready so you can scan your, again, I haven't used a Bitcoin ATM in a while. But, basically, then they prompt you to um, show your address. And then you show your address. And once you purchase the Bitcoin, all right, once you purchase the Bitcoin, it goes there. So, again, you either have it on your phone or on your desktop. Again, if you, you know, get a piece of paper, okay, if you get a piece of paper, what would happen is that it right here where it says um, uh, uh, re receive, okay, you would also, um, wait, hold on, not receive. Um, but anyways, um trying to think of oh yeah is that yeah i don't have it look i don't have the option available because i'm using my camera but you would also have right here where it says receive you would also have an option here somewhere all right i just can't use it because i'm using my camera but an option in order to have a little bit of a, a little camera you know have your 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 camera either on your phone or your camera on your laptop be able to read the address or the code or the qr code that you would get here so basically, again, here, you know what, let me let me break it down to make it easier. So ba basically, you know, if you don't have your, when you purchase the Bitcoin at the ATM, if you don't have your phone with a wallet set up, what you'll, what the, what the receipt will give you is a piece of paper, but the piece of paper will have this. And then you come home and then you scan this into your actual, into this wallet right here, to that wallet that you're looking at right there. Okay. Okay. So basically right now you see no Bitcoin transactions. Everything is, uh, you know, empty because this is a brand new wallet with no users, no nothing, no, no anything. So, um, but basically this is, and then when you want to send, okay, let's just give an example of how to want to send something. Um, basically it's like that, you know, you pop in the Bitcoin address here. You have many options. Again, scan from the camera, scan from a desktop, input the address here. OK, so it says, you know, it tells you right there cannot send to your own receiving address. This is why this wallet is great, because this wallet, you get what I'm saying? You see how right there. OK, but basically you put the address there and then you say, I want to send all of my Bitcoin. I want to send uh, one Bitcoin. Look at that. One Bitcoin is priced at ten thousand two hundred thirty dollars. All right. Or I want to send uh, point whatever Bitcoin. You get what I'm saying? And then you just click on send. And that's it. I mean, it's very, it's very easy, guys, you know, especially when you're using a very easy wallet like this. OK, so now now we're going to discuss security. OK, so we're going to this is the most important part. OK, because basically look how easy to use. OK, this wallet is so easy to use that right off the bat, you're able to use it. But back in the day, back in the day, you were not able to use this wallet until you did the backup first. 
And that's what we're going to do now. But since we're living in a world right now in which everything is... That's why I was like, eh, you know, let me just show you this whole thing real quick, all right? But basically, what you would really want to do before you do anything, okay, is as soon as you open up your wallet, you got to back up your wallet. And so how do you back up your wallet? You go to backup, okay? And then it's like, oh, create your password. Okay, so right now, you, you need a password in order to get in, you know, in order to access your stuff. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to set a password. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let me see. Why can't I use that password? It won't let me use that password. You suck. All right. Let me see. Jose one, two, three. Okay. So Jose one, two, three is the password. Okay. Next memorize your password. Okay. So we're going to do it again. I don't even know. I don't, did I? I think I Jose one two three. See I already did I see I already fucked it up. Alright, Jose one two three. Okay. So now once you have a password, once you have a password set up, okay, like a regular password, you know, like it's just a regular, like whatever password you already use, or okay, then you have your recovery seed. This is your recovery seed. Remember I told you about the the words? So these are the words. And they have, okay, so this is it right here, airport. For this wallet, every wallet is different. These are all random. The whole thing is random. Again, we're not talking about the technology in this episode. I'm just talking to you about how to set up a wallet. We can discuss all the, how all this works later on in the future. Okay? So yeah, exactly what Opie said. This is a password for your passwords, okay? But this is now your password. So this is the, the, the phrase, okay? So look, airport, immense. Limit, erase, digit. Okay, and so why is it shown like this? Why why don't they show all the words at the same time? Because again, somebody could be, you know, looking at your computer. Somebody could be hacking your computer. Somebody could be taking screenshots of your computer. Or whatever. So this is a way, and for the extremely paranoid, paranoid motherfuckers out there like us, like me, where you can just go one by one, you know, and you basically it shows you the word as you go along. Now, how does this work? Basically, you get a piece of paper and a pen, all right, and you write the words down, all right? I'm not going to go through the whole thing, all right? You write all of these words down, and then this is your password, all right? Now, you're probably asking yourself, man, every time that I want to access my wallet and I got to put this in, no, no. The reason you keep, this is your private keys, by the way. So when you hear things like the difference between a public key and a private key, let me make let me give you let me show you guys the difference, guys. So this right here is a public key. Okay, this is the key that I show everybody. Okay, you see I have an address down there that I don't care about showing you guys because again, if you send me money to this actual address I'm showing you, it's just gonna go into my pocket. So go ahead and you go ahead and send me any money you want. I'm not gonna complain. But anyways, this is a public key. You see how it has a, um, what you might call it, a, um, a QR code and an actual code there. So again, that is a public key. So the public key is an address that you show everyone publicly so that people can, again, deposit coins there or even see your coins on something like, again, like, oh, I don't, damn it, I lost it already. Like, uh, like Blockfolio, you know, blockchain, whatever. So basically, right now, you can get this address, all right? You can get this address and pop it in something like a blockchain explorer and look into every transaction that this wallet has ever made and the amount of a Bitcoin in that wallet at the moment and so on and so forth. So again, that's a transparency between these wallets, right? If you want privacy, again, we're gonna talk, we'll talk about that in another episode. This is private, but again, this is another kind of private. You know, we're not going into that right now. But this right here is your private key. So what you would do now all right. In order to maintain your your Bitcoin secure, your wallet secure, is that you would 
literally, if this is the wallet you're going to keep your coins on, or a wallet in which you're going to keep a lot of money or coins on, then this is where you would now write this phrase down. Now, make sure that each word is spelled correctly. Make sure that it's also in the right order. One, two, three, okay. And then you write all these down. And then basically, in the case, okay, see, now I got to write them all down, okay? And so, like, basically, you see? All right, and they go like that. That's like a little test. So basically, you see how we just back, you know, completed the backup. Back in the day, you would have to, you know, write down all your password on here, on the piece of paper, and then you would have to type in your password again just to make sure that, you know what I mean? You got it. Okay, that you wrote it down correctly. But you see how easy this wallet is nowadays, where it just all right. I, I, again, this is re recommended for beginners. And once you start moving money around or just having having a little bit Bitcoin, you upgrade to another um, more secure wallet. Because, again, if you fuck up and you lose your fucking wallet, you lost your coins and you're not going to be able to get them back no matter how easy the wallet is. So, again, so, you know, now, you know, what we're going to do now, I'm going to close Exodus. OK, and we're going to go on a, on a normal you know, process of how, uh, you know, how you would just go about your day. So blah, 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 log into your computer. And then you go to the Exodus right here in your desktop, double click and bam, you're going to get Exodus pop up. So now you type in your password, you know, in this case, it would be Jose one, two, three. All right, next. And that's it. Now you're in your wallet. You see how easy you're in your wallet. Okay, and so basically it, it takes you back to where you're left off, okay? So now the reason that you need, the reason that you need uh, your passphrase, you know, the reason that you need this this uh, this 12 word recovery phrase, okay? The one that we were just talking about and discussing is because let's just say that your computer falls into a river. Let's just say that someone stole your computer. Let's just say that somebody hacked your stuff. They're, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I lost my computer. I lost my coins. I lost my everything. What am I gonna do? Well, basically, so basically, you know, because um, you have this phrase now, I could literally just, on this phone, download Exodus, okay? Look, basically here, I'll show you how, what I mean, okay? So basically, come on, don't freeze on me now, stupid phone. All right. So basically, what you would do here, come on. Ah! You see, this is why we just want technology to work. We don't care how it works, right? Okay. But see, look, right now, I had like a situation where my Exodus app wallet froze and fucked up. And you're like, oh my God, what do I do? I, I lost my coins. I lost my wallet. Ah! And that could happen. But the thing is that if you have this phrase, okay, all these words written down, you got your phrase with you, you know, basically all you got to do is download the wallet again, okay? You know, you download this, you download this wallet again, all right? Or you download any wallet from any company. You download any motherfucking wallet, all right? On your phone, on your, anything, and then you put that phrase that you copied down into that wallet and... Bam, magically, all your coins appear. So that's what I'm saying. This is why it's all about this code. Because basically what a lot of people do, once you're like super crazy advanced, and let's say I want to have a million dollars in Bitcoin, well, what I'm probably going to do is that I'm going to have this code. Okay, first of all, I'll set up a wallet, put the coins on the wallet, all right? Once I put the coins, all right? Now, we're just going to go to the wallet real quick, all right? But once, uh, once we put the coins on the wallet, all right. Then what I would do is like delete this wallet, you know, get rid of the wallet. And then I would just keep the phrase and that's it. And so now you understand how like these coins are in the ether. They're like in the in the air. They're, they're, it's literally the cloud. I mean, you know how the cloud right now we think it's up in the air, but it's really just a bunch of servers. You know, basically, it's just a warehouse in fucking air, Phoenix, Arizona, owned by Google. That's the cloud. It's just, again, a warehouse. Well, 
this is not a warehouse. This is li literally just out of thin air. So basically with this code, you always have your Bitcoin. So again, you don't ever really need to even have a wallet like this on your desktop or on your phone or or like this or, or anything. You know, if you're, you know, uh, ballsy enough to do it, you know, all you would really need is this. And if you need to access them, you download any motherfucking wallet on the planet and you put this code in and bam, there are your coins. So now you understand like a little bit more. So again, this this right here, the, this code would be your private keys. All right, we're going to go through the private keys again. Again, it's your, your private, private, private. Okay, this is your private keys. If you can't remember this, you keep it in a safe. You bury it in a fucking, in your yard. You break it up into four pieces and hide it around the world. I don't fucking know. Figure it the fuck out. But this is your private key. So what is a private key? Again, it's like the private key to your house. If you give your private keys away, guess what? Anyone can fucking just walk into your house and take your shit. All right? So, and then there's no recourse, all right? There's no, I'm going to call the cops. No, the cops are even going to say, well, well, how did they get in here? Oh, I gave them my keys. Like, ah. So anyways, that is the private key. Now, a public key is your public address. So that's like your address. What's your address to your house? 1489 Green Place Lane, fucking Phoenix, Arizona, Indiana, 97849. That's your public key, your public address. Now, yeah, you might not want everyone to know your public address because who knows how much you got in there because, again, you know, anyone can just look up your public address and they know everything about you. But in, like, a case like me, I don't give a fuck. I don't have that much. You get what I'm saying? And, 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 uh, and my public address is, like, my PayPal address, meaning... You get what I'm saying? Like, hey, I put my PayPal address, I put my Cash App address, or I'll put my Bitcoin address, my public address, so that people can see it. And if they want to send me money, they can send me money. Again, through the QR code or through this. By the way, I'm pretty sure that's my fucking address. I forgot if it is or not. But anyways, whoever, I hope no one's sending anything to here. And if it's me... I'm lucky. If it's somebody else, they're lucky. But anyways, I digress. But that's just an address here, okay? But that's the point between the public and the private address. If you have a public address, of it, you know what I mean? Your public, I mean, you have both. You have a public and a private. But what I'm saying is that your public address is something you can share, something you can put out there publicly, just like your address or just like your cell phone. Those are public record, public keys, public ways, you know, again, things that are you can you publish publicly so that people can you know contact you or what have you all right now again the private keys you don't ever want to share with anybody not even your loved ones unless you're about to die and then you're going to put it in your will but that's a different story all right but basically all right that's something like that by the way this is just my grocery list all right but th but again this is how it looks like there so now you know, now that I've kind of talked about this, I've given you guys, you know, some uh, background on all this. I give you guys a little lesson, a little everything. Please, let's. I'm gonna now take it to you guys, the peanut gallery, so that you guys um, can ask me questions. I'm gonna open up the floor to you guys, so you guys can. Uh, again, I, I want to know what you guys understood, what you didn't understand. Um, if I did a good job explaining, if I didn't do a good job explaining, if you got it, if you need more. Um, tutorial on this, whatever. Let me know, and we will do it right now. As you know, since we're still here. So, I mean, I, I hope I did a good job explaining it. Um, but I know how I am. Sometimes I, you know, I'm a little difficult to understand. But again, these are your private keys right here. The keys that you never, ever, ever, ever want to show. That's why you see you need a password for your phrase. Then once it's there, you see how difficult. But again, this is only 12 words. For the more advanced wallets. You know, like maybe a wallet, like a hardware wallet like this, or even more advanced wallets like, you know, the ones that like Electrum that look like something like this, which is like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like you can have, you know, um, 16, 20, 20, 4, some shit like that. You can have mo multiple words, okay? It's all up to you. And of course, the more words you have, the more secure that wallet is. So, all right. But anyways, 
So that's the private. And now, again, I hope I hope you guys understand a little better now with the difference between a private key like this, all right, and a public key, all right, like this, all right. All right, so that's the public key, all right, the one you want to share. So anyways, guys, all right, let us uh, let me see what uh, you guys have to say, all right? Let me, uh, let me pay, play a little music for a second. Read the uh... well, hey, actually, John. John said something really important. By the way, welcome, John. But John said something important because, like, if you guys remember the last stream that I tried to do, the one that was a debacle from last week, basically, I deleted my Exodus wallet and I thought. That by just deleting the wallet, that I will get rid of it. But when you know the few of you people that were here with me last week trying to do this, um, when I reinstalled the Exodus wallet again, another reason why Exodus is awesome. Um, when I reinstalled the Exodus wallet, my keys, my everything was still on the computer, so it was able to just you know, boom, you know, just log back on. So I had to go into the computer and manually delete my keys and manually delete my information in order to do today's episode. But again, this is only with the Exodus wallet. Every other wallet, yeah, if you d accidentally delete your wallet, like, again, just like if you, you know, throw your your um, your computer into the river, gets run over by a uh, semi-truck, whatever, and you don't, you never lost anything, you know? It just, you know, you lost your computer, but you didn't lose, you know what I mean? Your coins, unless you don't have your keys. If you got your private keys, you always got them with you, so you don't got to worry about that. But, yeah, that's another awesome feature about Exodus. It's, again, super user-friendly. Yeah. And even as I was going through the, tuto the tutorial today, I realized it's even easier now than it used to be. So just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so there you go. John John said right here, the blockchain. Okay, so the blockchain exists. So let's just go to the blockchain for one quick second, all right? Let's just go uh, this. Okay, so this is a, a physical, I mean, not a physical. This is a, um, so what a user interface is, is like Windows or Apple or uh, Internet Explorer. It's a user interface, something that allows you to look at the code because um, how do I, how do I get that debugging mode? Hold on. Okay, okay. So, as you guys can see here... Oh, come on. Okay. So, as you guys can see here, you know, on the on the left, on the, on, on the, on the right side of the, the screen here, you know, this is kind of like what, you know, like the screen would look like. You know, this is all like um, code, okay? Here, let me show you, like, code on this one right here. I mean, this is the developer tools or whatever, but but basically, you know, this is, like, the code, okay? And this is what the website will look like. It's all, like, you know, it's, like, HTML. It's, like, a bunch of code. And then that code is, uh, you know, turned into something like this where, you know, it has pictures and you can look at it and it's nice and whatever. So basically, the blockchain is just a bunch of code. And now we, in the early stages of creating, you know, the user interface for all this, you know, whether it's a wallet or a blockchain explorer, we are now, you know, making that code into something that we can kind of like read and, and look at a lot easier, make it a lot user, a lot, you know, a lot easier to understand than a user, a, a, lot, easy, uh, a lot easier user-friendly interface, okay, for everyone to really look into but basically again the blockchain is just a bunch of code in the netherworld that you know holds all of this information that's why this information is basically once you create the code you can delete the, the wallet you can delete all the info you can delete all the infrastructure per se you know the physical stuff and it's still going to exist 
in in that uh in that blockchain in the space that's why even if like we have like an emp you know the grid fails everything falls and the, we're back in the stone age well eventually if we get back the technology and we have you know electricity and technology again we will be able to access all that shit through through this so that's why all this stuff is like crazy cool crazy awesome crazy you know unique and in a future episode um we will be discussing what a node is what is the blockchain what is you know all of these things and how they work um but again in layman terms you know just enough for you to kind of like understand it just like you probably just need like okay how does a cell phone work well you you you, you type in your information it bounces it to a satellite that satellite takes it to a server that server takes it to the to the individual and then that that they, that individual receives it so that's how we're going to kind of like explain this and and as we go along with that episode we'll also go deeper to, you know as you guys ask questions and all that stuff okay but you know for this episode you know we basically covered you know the creation of a wallet what is a wallet the different types of wallets um what is a public key what is a private key what are they used for what do they mean what is the, the you know all of this stuff so that's what we basically discuss in today's episode for anyone that's new coming in you know welcome um and right now we're just doing the question and answer section you know of uh the video and um you know again please if you guys have any questions any answers anything we're gonna go just like another 15 minutes give or take because we're basically basically done with today's lesson and um you know um we're gonna start um you know we're gonna start this on a weekly basis and there's gonna be another lesson next week and another lesson the week after that and so on and so forth and tomorrow again we have our weekly uh, happy hump day um crypto live stream as usual this is this is very this is different i don't know if i'm going to be doing these lessons on tuesdays or thursdays or what have you but we're definitely going to be doing them every week all right so just stay tuned and uh you know just stay you know um you know connected you know whether you're connected to the channel connected to the discord okay here check out the discord all right where you can all join a community we all chat talk about you know everything you know the upcoming stuff the non-upcoming stuff you know and so many other things right so please all right you know talking about brooms talking about verizon talking about all kinds of shit yeah sorry i'm not sure anyways so join the discord the links at the bottom description of the video join the discord so you can join this conversation after we're done here because here you can continue to ask questions okay not just to me but ask questions to to other people in the discord with knowledge of all this stuff again we have uh you know rooms you know dedicated to just bitcoin 101 to trade to crypto news all this uh, crypto stuff you know art you know not just uh all the other stuff that i talk about all right but but also um you know beginner stuff for crypto so please join and uh there's plenty of people more than happy to ju to help you all right on your process here but let me see let me read uh let me read some comments real quick see how uh see where we're at hey greg how's it going brother All right, so, all right, guys. So again, you know, just to reiterate, this is a public key, public key. All right, we already talked about the private key, you know, being the bunch of words that you write down. All right, um, this is a wallet. All right, the next to this wallet, you guys have already seen my wallet before. All right, so, uh, you know, I'm not going to show you here because I would have to now after I, after I'm done with today's episode, I'm going to delete this wallet so again this wallet is null and void all right um i'm gonna delete this wallet and i'm gonna put my wallet back up okay so because i have my backup phrase the wallet that i use on my desktop for, for you guys to send me donations and send stuff to and all that good stuff you know um that's the wallet i use again just like i use this wallet this is not you know the wallet i have on my desktop will be the wallet like i have in my you know i'm on uh, in my pocket it's like I don't keep all my coins on there. I keep my all of my coins in another wallet, in another. It's more like a hardware wallet, okay? And that's the thing, guys. You know what I mean? It's like you know we'll be learning together what um how all these things work and what all these things mean and uh, and how to transfer stuff and how to move stuff around. So 
in the next episode, I'll have my wallet set up here, and then we can let's see we can like do some transfers and some moving around, some changing of uh, coins, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, maybe we'll do that next episode, maybe not. You know, well, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do a poll um, on the channel to see what subject you guys would like me to cover next. Okay, or leave in the comment down in the description of the, uh, or leave in the description down in the comment section of this video what topic you want me to cover next. You know, what topic you want me to cover next week, and uh, and we're gonna continue this. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for the community. All right, so please help me help you. All right. I mean, I already know what you guys should know but i don't know what you know and i don't know what you want to know and i don't know what your level of understanding is and so even though you know we're we're doing this live there's going to be a lot of people watching this you know later on um in, in in the future so i'm coming to you from the past here but basically you know what i'm trying to say is that um <clears throat> please you know like i i need um i want you guys to please like help me out <clears throat> by <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> I need you guys to help me out in the sense of like, as you're watching this or as you watch this, please leave in the comments below, leave down below. Like, hey, I didn't understand that. Hey, what did you mean by this? Hey, you know, whatever, any, anything, anything, all right? Or, or in the Discord, if you want a more immediate answer, please, you know, in the Discord, you know, we'll be able to, you know, answer questions more immediately, all right? So, all right, let's, uh, let's go back to the chat, see where we're at. Um, we're winding this down. See what we got here. <laughs> okay, so how's it going, Pedro? So Pedro, Pedro asked, you know, the, the, the very important questions like, whoa, what happens? You know, what happens if all the power goes out. The grid, I already just talked about this, about this a few minutes ago. But anyways, what if the power goes out? What if the grid goes out? You know, what if everything goes out? Well, again, you know, we have two options, you know, meaning A, you know, we're going to be in the Stone Age forever. And then all this technology is moot. The, you know, there's no point. Or, or, you know, we're just in the dark for a little bit of time, you know, which is most likely what's going to happen. And once we get the power on, once we get everything back on, all you got to do is just uh, put your code in. And you got your your coins, or you got your information, or your whatever. And by the way, this code is not just for Bitcoin. Like, let me give you an example. As you guys already know, I've been having trouble with YouTube. So there's a new, there's a program out there called Library. All right. So by the way, shout out to Library. Shout out to BitChute. Shout out to all these other. But anyways, so Library is imagine YouTube, but on a blockchain. Imagine YouTube, but with all the stuff of uh, Bitcoin. So basically, it's the same thing. If the, we have an EMP attack, the internet goes down, the, the whole infrastructure just disappears. It really doesn't disappear because the cool thing about this new blockchain technology stuff is that all I would have to do is just kind of like implement. By the way, so the, the, uh, my library account also has private keys just like this. So if something like that were to happen or I lose my account here for whatever reason, I would just have to, in, in, you know, and Type in my private keys and, you know, download library again on another computer, on another interface, and another whatever, in another country, in another whatever. Once I get the power back on, whatever, and then just and put my keys in and bam, I got access to my account again or I got access to my Bitcoin or I got access to, you feel me? That's why, again, this is, this is next level fucking technology shit, man. That's why when people are like, oh, the EMP attacks or the grid or the power, it's like, no, man. You know what I mean? They got to literally fucking turn the power off of the whole planet all at the same time. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen because, you know, there's countries out there that want to benefit. They want to rise up. They're against, you know, the agenda. You know, there's so many. So it's like, this is never going to happen. This is never going to completely ever happen. So. But yeah, yeah, no, no, don't worry, no worries. I mean, I'm just ending the chat. You know, we just got a few more minutes, and that's it, guys. Because I got to wrap this up. I don't want to make this too long. This is just an educational video, a uh, little Bitcoin 101, a little Bitcoin school. Um, what we again, to just go back over what we covered today. Um, for anyone out there that's still listening and um, wants to rewatch this, you know, once it gets republished in a few a uh, few minutes, um, is basically again, um, what is a wallet? Okay, what is a crypto wallet? All right. Bitcoin wallets for beginners, everything you need to know. We go through every kind of wallet, you know, whether it's a paper wallet, um, uh, a hard wallet, um, a wallet on your phone, 
you know, we go through everything, okay? We go in uh, a wall on your desktop, and then uh, we went to um, Exodus, and we downloaded a wallet for the computer, and then we also um, installed the, the, the wallet. So we went through the process together, so you can see how easy it is that anyone can do, and there's no excuses to not do any of this stuff already. All right, and we also went through the process of like once you get Bitcoin from a place like Coinbase or or the Cash App or a Bitcoin ATM, how do you get those coins onto your phone? How do you get them onto your wallet? So we went through all of that already. So for anyone out there that wants to know, that wants to share this information with others, now you you know again just to reiterate what we did in today's episode and in next week's episode. Well, you know, we're going to be doing similar things like that. Okay. Again, Bitcoin for beginners, Bitcoin 101. That's what we're doing here. And um, that's the plan with uh, with this new series that I'm going to do here every week. And also next, I mean, tomorrow um, we're doing the regular Happy Hump Day live stream. I'm also doing regular um, uploads. I also got a podcast going. Again, just search Jose Atiaga where, wherever you find your podcast. I'm already on Spotify. I'm already on Apple iTunes and, and on several others. I'm going to be uploading things like this and other things like this to, um, you know, the podcast as I create them, you know, so my happy, my, my hump day live streams are always going to be on the podcast uh, format, um, plus a lot of the stuff that I you know, make for you guys, which again, it's just me talking for the most part, you know, a lot of the videos that I make, a lot of the content that I make, I'm going to start putting that as well uh, in podcast form. Again, the podcast is already available, so please subscribe, go check it out and all that good stuff. Also, please go to, all right, now we're going to do the shameless plugs, all right? You know, please go to, um, Go to my website, all right, please, you know, um, joseatiaga.com, so you guys can find uh, find me no matter what happens, because as you know, the channel that you're watching me on right now is uh, kind of being threatened by YouTube. I'm always getting, uh, you know, copyright strikes, or I'm always getting some sort of, uh, um, what is it, like, uh, uh, what, what are the other strikes again called, the community guideline strikes or whatever, so they have it in for me, so again, guys, as you guys already know, some of you guys already do know, I already have another channel for, you know, my Mexico travel content, my other cool content, check that out, all right, please check that out, I'm gonna, here's the channel here, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you in a second, but basically, here's my website, joseatiaga.com, where you can always keep track of where I am no matter what, so just go there. You can see all my videos. You can see all my latest stuff. You can, uh, again, you can even find me, okay? So all the information on where you can find me is here, direct links. And I'm adding stuff. I'm adding links to this all the time. I got to add the podcast. I got to, you know, all that other good stuff. So, you know, again, you can find the st my store. You can find swag. You know, you can find, uh, you know, expat travel services, whatever. All the stuff you need on my website. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Shameless plugs. Any more shameless plugs? Here's the other... Um, web, here's the other channel, okay, so please go subscribe right now to Jose Diego Travels, and you, that's where all my Mexico videos and all the content, all that cool content is at, so go check that out there, and I think that's it, guys, I mean, let's just um, see if there's any more questions, any more comments, any more anything before we put a kibosh to this episode. Again, DP, DP in the chat is saying that like how, uh, you know, Bitcoin and blockchain or the mining, you know, um, takes up a lot of power and resource. But the reality is that the banking system actually takes up more power and resource than than just one Bitcoin mining farm. And that's the thing. But people never talk about that. You know, what I mean, the, remember, the people that are creating this propaganda are the people in power. The people in power are the banks and the banks don't like Bitcoin or this new technology. So, yeah, they're going to fucking straight up say, oh, that, you know what I mean? Something like this new technology is, you know, uh, you know, environmentally horrible. But the reality is that it's not. You know, this is all part of the new paradigm shift that we're moving into, which we'll talk in another episode about the near zero marginal cost, where basically this doesn't cost that much money to maintain to move money to, to use while the banking system again how many buildings do they have how many employees do they have how many systems do they control how many uh, and I can go on and on all right so the banking system is a way worse polluter 
all right, than the, the fucking crypto system put together. You can literally put all the crypto stuff together and it still wouldn't even equal just uh, the fucking uh, econo environmental damage that like Bank of America does. That's not including all the other banks of the world, all right? So just, just to throw it out there, all right? And that's a fact, Jack. <clears throat> Hola, per Perlita. Hey, how's it going? But anyways, huh? Yeah, DP, actually, again, that's a great point. I think that I will do a transaction live on stream. No problem. We'll do that in the future. Again, you know, um, what would help facilitate that is, uh, you know, again, you know, for you guys to help support the show by sending me coins. You already know my address. You already know my everything's down below. Um, you know, send coinage. And uh, if, um, if even if there's no coinage sent to the show, by the time we do the next show, I will most likely do it with my own coins and, you know, spend my own money to move it around. But it's all in the it's all in the spirit of uh, education. It's all in the spirit of helping you guys out. And uh, you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes the teacher has to buy crayons for the for the class because, you know, the school fucked up. So anyways. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And John, by the way, just to, you know, um. For anyone out there um, that is interested in John's perspective, you know, he will be a guest in the show in future episodes uh, where he will, again, be talking a lot more about the nitty gritty. You know, he's the one that's probably going to be answering the questions about what a node is, how it works on the the blockchain, uh, talking about technical analysis, you know, if you want to trade and just talking about all this other stuff, you know what I mean? Um, that I, I, this is not my expertise, you know, I got other expertises, this is, this, this, all right? But yeah, okay, guys, I think that's it. Yeah, we're going to end this right now. Guys, thanks again for watching. I love you guys to death. You guys are the best. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today on today's very, very special episode, the first ever episode of Bitcoin for Beginners or Bitcoin Basics or Bitcoin 101 or whatever the fuck we're calling this. But thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. I love the fact that I have you guys as an audience, uh, such the best audience on the planet, um, the best community on the planet in which, you know, we get to do this together. We get to learn together. We get to share together. We get to do so many things together. And uh, and seriously, guys, you know, thank you so much for, for helping me help you and, uh, and the whole thing. I mean, again, I would not be able to do any of this without you. You guys know who you guys are, are out there. You know, whether it's Opie, whether it's Apparel, you know, whether it's uh, Dale, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, there's so many people out there. You know what I mean? The John, uh, Callie, Greg, you know, I can go on and on. So many people that help support the show, you know, in many ways, you know, not, not just financially, but, you know, by helping me, you know, literally helping me, you know, whether it's uh, by maintaining, uh, you know, um, the, the, the Discord, the, the, like what John does, or, you know, by uh, donating uh, camera equipment like Pearl did, and so on and so forth, all right? And um, again, guys, I really, 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 really love you, and I just wanted to say that because, you know, sometimes, you know, we don't hear enough of that, and I really do appreciate you guys, uh, just as much as you guys appreciate me, don't ever forget that, seriously. All right, so guys, you already know the drill. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon so you don't miss any episodes because I'm always uploading and I'm kind of switching up the schedule on you all the time. Check out the other channel, check out the website, check out all the other crap, and uh, more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Central for the other Crypto Happy Hump Day live stream. Peace.